New at 9, the state's search and rescue resources grow by 8 tonight. Oklahoma Task Force 1 is one of the state's urban search and rescue teams, and it now has four new canines and handlers trained to find survivors in disasters. News on 6 reporter Lacey Lowry is live tonight with the story. Lacey? Jennifer, these dogs have their own survival stories. They are all animal shelter rescues who were just about to be euthanized when opportunity stepped in. From rescue shelter to rescue team. <coughs> Oklahoma Task Force One's newest canines are training to find survivors in huge piles of debris. They can search um, an area so much faster. You know, they can cover an area in 15 minutes, what might take a human team hours. How many toys do you have? Klaus Dabern is with the National Disaster Search Dog Foundation, which donated these dogs to Oklahoma. She puts the dogs through agility exercises so they can scale and balance on any surface. Well, they're asked to work in very difficult places, and so we have to have dogs that are willing to go anywhere, that have a lot of drive. Dog and handler have their own language, from verbal cues to body language when the dog picks up a scent. <coughs> It's like you learn to communicate with another person because they read your body, you read theirs, and, and they, you learn to work as a team. These dogs are only trained to find live human sense, so they're often the first line of rescue in natural disasters. You're the first person on scene that can make a difference and actually get to that victim before anybody else does. <coughs> The new canine handlers left May 22nd for California to get their dogs and train. The Joplin tornado hit later that day, so they weren't part of rescue missions, but say they'll be ready the next time. The ability to search like Joplin in Oklahoma City and to find victims is, I mean, there's no price tag on that. The four new canine teams will continue their training and should be fully certified within the next six months. Lacey Lowry, News on 6 tonight.